So once again, Plexone reached out to us and sent this headphone for review. And as per usual, we're going to check its physical overview, features, and more. Everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the box? Obviously the headphone itself, the TRRS to TRS splitter for mic and audio and some documentations. Now let's check out some physical overviews. So the build is mostly plastic with sandblasted texture fill on the headband and some smooth rubber-like texture on the headphones. The design is a bit bulky and it's more like an over-ear kind of headphones. The ear cushions are smooth with leather-like material and a very odd shape for some reason. It is also detachable just in case you want to wash it when you get sweaty while gaming. The headband also has a cushion which is much appreciated. This is also adjustable with distinguishable clicks to make sure it fits most people's head. And not to mention that it also has a flexi metal reinforcement for additional durability. As for the inline controls, we also have a volume up and down and a mute switch for the microphone. And speaking of microphone, you can flip this up and down and it is also flexible as well so you can adjust it wherever so the cable is also braided and permanently attached on the headphone it is also short and around 3 feet with trrs 3.5 millimeter jack input as a default connector though it is short the splitter cable is also around 3 feet so i guess that solves the problem now let's check out some features so this headphones works on pc mobile playstation and switch it is very lightweight with HD microphone and stereo sound output. Take note that this is not advertised as 7.1 surround sound, but you could always download a third-party software that can emulate it with this headphone. So you can hear your enemy's footsteps in FPS again. I guess that's all that there is. Now let's move on to the mic tests. So this is the sound of the headset's mic plugged into my PC without editing. As you can see, we are set to 100% volume in our microphone and we don't have any kind of boost now to remove the buzzing sound i've set a noise suppression in obs studio so all i have to do is just to click this to at least lessen the uh buzzing sound so this is the sound of the headset mic plug into my pc with noise suppression on so this is the sound of the headset mic plug into my iPhone without editing. As you can see, we are still room where I recorded the PC audio just a while ago. So we are also going to try this outdoor. So let's go. So this is the sound of the headset mic plug into my iPhone without editing. As you can see, we are in an outdoor environment where you can hear a lot of background sound. So once again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now before we talk about the sound quality of the headphones, let me just remind you guys that I'm not going to let you hear the sound output of the headset using my microphone because I think that is dumb since you will only hear my microphone's quality and not the headset sound output quality. So you just got to trust me in my judgment guys. Anyway, let's begin. So the sound output is a bit mushy and lacking clarity. It lacks a lot of highs and I think it needs around plus 4 to plus 5 decibel on the highs and around plus 2 to plus 3 decibel on the mids and minus 1 to minus 2 decibel on the lows to have a balanced sound output. The bass is not overpowering and I actually love the bass punch in it but it seems like it just needed a little bit of mids and a lot of highs to make it sound more natural and clear. So for the overall sound quality in the budget category, I think I'll give this a 5 out of 10. For the microphone quality, I think this is much more clear compared to other headphones in the market. A little lacking on bass but I think that is understandable since it is not a condenser microphone. If you're going to use it for casual gaming communication or online schooling, I think it is fine. Though I do not recommend this for voiceovers in your videos. As per usual, using the 3.5mm jack input in your PC with this headphone has the buzzing sound that I really hate the most. But I think you could always fix this using OBS Studio's noise suppression. Anyway, for the mic quality in the budget category, I think I'll give this an 8 out of 10. For the build quality, I think this will last for quite some time. 
The build is almost like the G700 that we reviewed in this channel and that headphone is still in the office and I see no deterioration of any kind. So the G800 feels plasticky and looks very weak but I don't think this will go bad anytime soon. I just don't like the headphone's texture over here since it's a fingerprint magnet. Other than that, I think it's all good. For the build quality and budget category, I think I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Now for the comfort quality, since this is lightweight and the clamping force is not that much, it is really comfortable with the headband and air cushions. I think I could wear this for like an hour or two, though it's a bit lacking in clamping force, so if you move too much, this will be out of position like so. But I prefer this more than the over clamping force that is concentrated underneath your ear. So for the comfort quality in budget category, I think I'll give this an 8 out of 10. So in conclusion, the sound output is good enough. The microphone quality is awesome, at least with the noise suppression on. The build quality is so-so and the comfort is okay. Now if you're going to ask me if I'll recommend this, then the answer is um, not really. It will be better for you to purchase the G700 instead since it's a bit cheaper and I see not much difference in performance with the G800. But if you still want to buy this, you can check out the links in the description below. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.